Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up a custom pitch profile for color matching Sony cameras to pretty much any camera. In the second half of this video where we will do the color matching, I'll be using the color space transform tool in DaVinci Resolve, which has the option to color match to all major cinema camera manufacturers. Now for the picture profile settings. So for the in-camera settings, we have two options. For the first option, we will only change the color mode to sgamut3.cine since we need to choose a color mode which is listed in DaVinci Resolve. This option will allow for basic color matching, which is not so accurate, but you'll have the freedom to choose any gamma curve like Cine 4, Cine 1, S-Log, etc. For the second option, which will color match more accurately, we will go to the gamma section and set it to S-Log 2 or S-Log 3 with their matching color modes. So the color modes are here on screen. Now we'll import our footage into DaVinci Resolve, add another three nodes to the clip. We will use a second node for our color space transform, which is under the open effects section in DaVinci Resolve. Now drag the color space transform onto the second node. For the inputs, we can set our gamma here and our color space here. Then we can set both outputs to Rec 709, which is the standard output most people will be viewing this footage with. We could use the Blackmagic extended video as the output gamma for a little more dynamic range, but the footage will have flat looking highlights. So with the color space transform, we have taken our in-camera settings and transformed them to a standard output, Rec 709 in this case. Transforming the footage in this way will give far more accurate results when color matching cameras which record in different log profiles from different camera manufacturers. You could also use the ACES workflow to do your color matching, which is more accurate, but the process is slightly more complicated. But I've made a video on this, which is linked in the description below. Now you should have a solid foundation for color matching your Sony footage, which should save a lot of time when it comes to color grading. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.